Hello friends, welcome back to 60 Seconds, a post-apocalypse survival game. It's kind of fun, with your host, Wrong with the Bold. So, we're going to do a new game, and I've been playing a little bit, um, so hopefully we'll get the whole thing working. We're going to do it on easy mode, because... Easy mode. The big goal that I found is you got to get a lot of water. A lot of water, a lot of food. Um, as much as you can at the beginning. Uh, everything else is good, but you gotta get food and water. Food and water! Alright, so what we're gonna do, you have a few seconds when the game first starts up to kind of look around. That's the supply chain. Okay, boom. Got a rifle there. It could be helpful. We got some food there. We've got gas mask and kid there. So what we're gonna do is gonna grab the gas mask and kid and the radio. The radio isn't... Boy Scout book, yep. Okay. I'm get you. I can't grab her. I'm grab two cans. Bug spray and boom. Get these in here. Run for it, run! Kid, get the gas mask. Let's go outside better. Got that. All right. Shelter. Okay. Quickly, 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 quickly. Oh. Only grab things. Okay. All right, here, only got a few seconds left. Grab the kid. This is not the best start, not the best start. Everything is randomly assigned. Oof. So we're in, but we do not have a good assortment of stuff. I didn't get the Boy Scout book. Uh, oof. It's going to be tough. I did, I did not get much water. <sighs> three cans of water, three cans of soup. Gas mask and a thing. Okay, so here we go. So we made it into the shelter just seconds before the blast. It was close. We're all down here together. We are canned soup is healthy, so our, our shelves are our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. There's barely enough water for everyone. We'll have to ration it strictly. All right, so we got three bottles of water. Oh, it's not good. So basically, what I do is I, I don't feed him until the last possible second. Um. All right. So each day something happens. Uh, I'm not sure how random it is, but it seems fairly random. And you have a chance to send people out. Uh, it's easy to feel a bit down when living underground. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get out of that pessimism and try to bring some cheerfulness into our lives. So Mary Jane's doing good. Timmy's doing good. Dolores is fine. And Ted is doing okay. All right. So let's not... Not for anybody. So who's going to go outside? Uh, scavenging could be sick. Okay. He's going to do it, so we're going to send him out uh, tomorrow. We have the gas mask, which makes it a little more survivable. Supply drops on the radio. Perfect. Yes. So what happened? What did we get? <gasps> we lost a gas mask. Oh, no. Don't stand under supply drop crate when it falls out of the sky. Okay. Air drop crate we found wasn't exactly huge. A few supplies will definitely help us out. Especially to find some water bottles and food cans. Yay! Uh, tomato soup. Yes. Our theory is that this whole country used to run on tomatoes. And no one suspected a thing. Water. I'm not worried about anybody yet. I'm going to do one more day. Of not giving them anything. I'm trying to be really stingy. We're going to send Ted out. Bye, Ted. Wave at the screen. Bye, Ted. All right, so today we can give him some food and water. And how would that do with the hunger? Yeah, we're okay for hunger right now. Uh, trickling sound. Why is the well so water so also Are we getting flooded? Ah, oh, boat would even fit. We need to do something. Save the supplies! So we can save our radio. It's the only thing we've got. It's actually kind of good we didn't have extra things. 
Now, can we get that water and collect it? That would have been great. Okay, luckily the shelter filled with water pretty rapidly and we were certain we were going to drown. With our heads barely above water, we weren't even able to open the hatch and escape. Before we could start considering the, wor the worst, the water level started to drop. We we're fine, safe for the mess we need to deal with. Okay, Mary Jane's okay. Timmy might not look it, but he's doing good. Lawrence is fine. All right. So doing good. I'm not going to worry about anything else. This is like we keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup. They're in our water. They swear some of them keep coming back, and they're bigger every time we see them. They can't go on like this. It's time to wage war on these spiders. I don't really want to use it this early, but I think I'm going to have to. Let's use our spider spray we get picked up. Our bug spray. Still no Ted. Oh, poor Ted. Out there by himself. It's one thing that you can drive spiders away it's, and stop us climbing the furniture. It's bug killing spray. This was the right time to unleash this deadly weapon. The results were excellent. We eradicated 404 of those little bastards. We even found a water bottle stashed in the corner. It was a great day. Yay! So Mary Jane's doing good. Uh, Timmy's doing good. And Doris is doing good. Nice. So we don't need to feed anybody yet. We wonder what happened to Uncle Brian. He should have not been. He shouldn't have been far from where the bombs fell, but no one knows for sure. It would be great to find out. Um, should we say, did we have a photo of him tucked away in one of the books at home? It was in the, it was in the uh, Boy Scout handbook, which we did not grab. Darn it! Ted, are you back? No, Ted still. Oh no, poor Ted. No photos, no news, no happy thoughts. The world is too cruel. All right, so we got food and water for everybody. So actually, let's go. F yeah, so let's go with just food today. We'll do water tomorrow. Let's listen to the radio and find out what's going on. The radio is a, is a really important item to grab, I think. Wow, no Ted still. Weak signal. Government. Fallout outside is almost gone. Yay! Much safer to travel on the surface. Great. And you get uh, maybe you need something to drink. Water and water. Okay, so everybody gets water today. There we go. It's difficult to keep our spirits up in this situation. We do hope this whole mess will be over soon, or else. We might end up in a place much worse than this cozy shelter. Come on, Ted, come back. Wow. Keep an eye on them. They'll get <laughs> really broken up over time. It's hard not to worry considering our current situ situation. Some days we're still struggling to deal with this shelter life. We can't lose hope. Mary's fine. Timmy's good. And Doris is fine. Okay, good. Better being safe down here is much better than being pulverized out there. But that doesn't mean we don't want to go outside. Maybe we could take a walk soon. The neighborhood is probably much more peaceful than since the bombings. I don't, think, I don't know about that. Ah, Ted's back. Hey, T oh, Ted, you're not looking. You sir are not looking good. And we don't have a first aid kit. Uh, he gained nothing after we gone so long. Oh no. Very weak. Oh, okay, let's feed him up. I can't. I don't have a first aid kit, so I'll get you some food and water, Ted. That's all I can do for you, man. All right. Uh, let's send Timmy. We'll send Timmy out tomorrow. Timmy can do it. Let's hit the radio. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. But we'll have to leave eventually. It'd be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military, so hopefully we'll hear a message on the radio. <coughs> Aw, Ted. I'm sorry, man. No, no, no meds for you. No meds for Ted's. We knew it. The government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they'll be in touch in a couple of days and told us to wait for the instructions. 
Okay, so drinking, water, 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 and then Ted just needs food. Rationing everything. Okay, we've been preparing, so we're going to send Timmy out. Good luck, Timmy. Love that fly. It looks so good. A couple times I've actually wiped the screen to get rid of it. Uh, okay, everything is good. Ted's hungry. Let's feed Ted. Uh, yuck. Well, we can't do anything about the roaches. <laughs> Uh oh, look at that thing. Yikes. <laughs> it's a mutant cockroach. Oh my, that thing is huge. And there goes another. A roach is everywhere. We're doomed. We already feel all dirty. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Doris could leave to eat some eat. And food and water for everybody. Okay, so you get some water, food, food, and food. We found some weird mushrooms growing on one of the walls. Food shortage is no laughing matter, so maybe. It'd be a good idea to grab a mushroom bite or two. What's the worst thing that could happen? Oh dear. Do we eat it or not eat it? We don't really need the food, so I'm going to skip out, even though I'd love to see what the, what the impact would be. We may be hungry, but there are just some things we'll never eat. Wall fungus is one of them. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Doris wants water, and Ted is actually okay. So, water, water. We always stayed away from casinos, gambling dens and the like. So when a man came to our door and told us he used to be a gambler, we were suspicious. He invited us to play a game. He proposed a two water bottle bet in a card game of our choice. Oof. Well, we don't have the thing, and we didn't have the water bottles that... We didn't have the water to, to risk it anyway. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set for the kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away. Good riddance. Mary Jane's good. Dolores is good. And Ted is good. All right, so we're all fine. Everyone, no food or water today. It's tough surviving these conditions. Let's hope this will be over soon, or else we might end up dead in some wasteland ditch. That's not something we're looking forward to. I agree! <coughs> Timmy? Timmy? Don't Timmy still? I hope he brings back uh, some good supplies. Okay, so we're just uh, very calm. We do need to get uh, a little bit of water for Ted. And we can't do anything about the roaches. They get more organized, though, every day. At first, it was just one or two of them, but nowadays we see small columns of them marching through the shelter. We need to deal with the situation before the civilization becomes superior to ours. Yikes. Oh, Ted does not look good, does he? Living with roaches can't be too bad, right? Even if they're stealing our pillows, socks, and wallets... Why would roaches even need wallets? And that smell is horrible. So water needs Jane. Uh, Jane needs Mary. Uh, Mary Jane needs water. Doris. So the ladies get water today. Down to two bottles. Today an army broadcast interrupted our let's call it breakfast. Anyway, they seemed very eager to evacuate us from here, but then went over several things that need to happen before they do it. First item. On the list is up to us. We were given geographical coordinates and need to get there to leave a sign we're still alive. Oh no, no map, we can't do it. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> ah, Timmy's back. Alright. We were sure we could find the location without a map. We were wrong. Hopefully we'll get lucky next time. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland to safe with us now. We quickly discovered that the local supermarket has become the base of operations for a raider group. They are armed and dangerous. Sometimes they would leave, leave to plunder and ransack the area. Even if it's risky, that was the best time 
right. to try and steal from them. Sneaking through the store shelves provided us with a few soup cans. Yay! The way it was clear of the staff room and said we found nothing but a water cooler free for free water for employees. Wow, that must have been a dream job. A flashlight laying under the ground is easy to get your neck broken. We learned this the hard way. It's amazing that no one heard all the noise. Oh, wow. One of the walls had a map. Awesome. Look at all this stuff. Oh, my goodness. He got... He got Oh, wow. Bug kill spray. Wow. We got an awesome, awesome load of gear. Okay, so we need to feed and water Timmy. <laughs> um, so, yep, that's it. We had all kinds of supplies. That was a great haul, Timmy. You did an amazing job, sir. Let's make sure I actually... Yeah. So we'll send Mary Jane out, I think, on the next run. Uh, this guy wants to do the card game again. Mm. But we don't have any cards, so can't do that. Oh, Ted does not look good. Gambling is terrible. Yep. Uh, Mary Jane, Zach, use a little food. Timmy, food. Food and food for everyone. And Ted needs some water. But we got plenty of food, so I'm 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 fine with getting everybody. Okay, so we're gonna send her out, Mary Jane. Bye, Mary Jane. Thirsty, sick, tired, hungry. Mary Jane, bye. Tim's hungry. Thoris, okay. Timmy. And Timmy and Wada. All right. Turns out Mr. Friesman, uh, Freeman, the physics teacher at Timmy's school, was right. One plus one does indeed make two. In our case, it's two or more cockroaches because those little bastards just keep coming. We need to clean up our mess or end up with a full-blown infestation. Well, luckily we've got we got that from the raid, so let's go ahead and apply the roach spray. <coughs> Day 21. Not bad. We have defeated the insidious cockroaches and driven them away. Their nests are ours. That should teach them a lesson. Timmy's hungry. Okay. Uh, food and water. Right. Food and water for... We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is they probably scared off any rats in the area. Bad news is the huge one will probably attack us when they get a chance. I just killed them all. Damn roaches. Oh my, that thing is huge. There was another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. All right, uh, Thirsty Ted. Okay, we can give you some water. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a okay, good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there's any trouble in the area. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness and their owner started growling in the most terrifying way. We only had moments to decide what to do. Well, we got a flashlight. Hopefully that's enough. Well, we're all still there, so that's good. We decided to check out what's coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog. The poor thing seemed tired. So we let it stay with us for the night. The next morning, we opened the door to let it out. It still hasn't returned. Hopefully, it will come back later. Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will this last? If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dolores. And Ted's okay. Dolores, here's a little bit of water. Confined spaces are not very friendly environment, and we quickly got into an argument over some trivial things. If this keeps on, we might find ourselves in a nasty place. Ah, Timmy, uh, Mary Oh, what? My sickness must have gotten me. Oh, she does not look good. Ted's been sick for far too long. Wait, when did I get that? Oh, no. He passed away in his 
sleep. We stopped arguing for how long? Nothing made us happy in the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. We found out... Found out oh, she brought it back one day too late. Great, Mary Jane. Uh, so she... Got... Okay, the canteen had some food. So we got more... Okay, good. Um, so we got some... <laughs> so this is the only thing they fed their patients. Now we're 100% sure it's healthy, yes. There's plenty of water. Um, and they brought that back just in time to not save Ted. So, food, she went nuts. <laughs> nice. Uh, Mary Jane needs food and water, probably. We'll get everybody food and water. Aww. Okay, let's send. We'll send Timmy out for the next for the next run. We were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing rescue missions. They want us all survivors to head to a specific spot. Okay, we had that map that we scavenged, so that's good. Aw, Ted, you're just too sick for too long. Okay, we left the message in a bottle. Mary Jane's diet can use food. Nothing. Okay, so let's go food for Mary Jane. Let's go ahead and give him food and water since he's going to be going out on an adventure time. Bye, Timmy. Good luck with you, sir. Wow, we're surviving pretty well. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So just food for Mary Jane. We should be good. Nice quiet day. Uh, we have a very own cockroach colony now. Let's want them to stay and play fetch. We should start doing something to drive them out. Uh, <laughs> the fetch option is quite likely. They're as big as small puppies. Those roaches are probably going to end up killing us, I think. This is as far as I survived before. It's good. Although they're a bit glowy, we're pretty sure they spread diseases. We have no... And we're pretty sure they spread diseases. We have no means of fighting those damn roaches. Best just get used to the situation. Better the roaches than bandits. Or commies. Everyone should drink something. Uh, Mary Jane, water. Water. Oh, what the heck. It's just the two of them. Let's feed them up. Barking at our doorstep could mean only one thing. Our dog friend is back. Not caring for hazards of the wasteland, we rushed to open it. And there he was. The poor thing seems tired and starving. Yeah, let's give him some food. I hope that it'll, like, you know, do something cool for us later on. All right, new record for me. A new record! Hey! The dog was back to his former self in under an hour. We don't know what they put in that soup, but man, this stuff is good. We decided the dog needed a name, and the right name for him was Pancake. Come here, Pancake. Who's a good boy? Pancake stayed around for a while, but was gone the next morning. We can bet he'll be back. May Jane still isn't completely sane. Ah. Uh, okay. Well. While Mary Jane was rummaging through our belongings, she found a single plant seed. We have no idea what kind of seed it is, but maybe it's the start of something great. If we're lucky, it might be an apple tree, or a cherry tree, or something edible. We need to use a bottle of water to plant it. How about that? Yes, let's go ahead and plant it. We have the water to spare. Surprisingly. We start off really bad. Here goes nothing. Soil, seeds, water. We'll see what happens in a few days' time. Let's hope that tree grows fast. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just a, a glow-in-the-dark glowing cow thing? Alright. Um... It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She's fine, and Thoris is fine. Okay. Well, we don't need to feed anybody today. We learned a valuable lesson recently. If you don't do anything about roaches in your home, you will end up with more roaches. Well, unfortunately, we can't do anything about it. The family is looking a little bedraggled. Living with roaches can't be too bad, right? Alright. 
Water. Oh no, she got sick. I thought she looked sickly. Water for Doris. Water for both of them. Let's save the. Uh, let's save that. What we would give to be able to enjoy the sunshine again. We can't see there's a lot of light underground. We don't expect it to get any brighter down here soon. You should have eaten Ted. Day 31. Wow, I'm really surviving. It's awesome. Okay. I'm not going to give her anything yet. The military is communicating through the radio again. We're sure it was a signal to evacuate out of here, but it takes turn. It turns out they need our help. The speaker requested that all able citizens in the area should chop down a tree or two in the nearby park. It sounds ridiculous, but they're claiming that it'll make it easier for them to extract this. We never even liked that park. So let's do this already. We have an axe. Oh, Mary Jane is not looking good. And Timmy's back. Yay, Timmy! Chopped down as many trees as we could. It wasn't much, but hopefully it'll be, make the difference they wanted. The next time they get in touch, we better be it from a tank parked on our lawn, or what's left of it. Our only regret is that this wood chopping business ruined our axe. We were afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland to safe with us. Our little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. Uh-oh. Our poor, poor house was completely destroyed above our shelter. It's really sad and devastating. Where will we live after we get out of this mess? Surely fate is not cruel enough to keep us from pushing out <laughs> Dolores' sister, Toronto. The only recognizable furniture is the kids' rooms were, were burned desks and Mary Jane's bed. There was a hidden stash under the bed. It was full of soup cans. Yay! Our kitchen... Oh, look, we got a, we got a rifle. Our kitchen's a pile of rubble. It took us weeks to find those lovely chairs that matched the floor tiles, too. Now there were nowhere to be found. Only a few bottles of water remained scattered in the dirt. Car blew up. It's now a toasted piece of a roasted piece of junk metal. In some fantastically incomprehensible way, the spare rifle in the trunk sorry all that and still works. Yay! All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and medicate her and then get everybody fed up. Ha, we fed up. Ha, ha, ha. So we'll send Dolores on the next run, I guess. All right, we're gonna shoot the we're gonna shoot the cockroaches. Here goes. <laughs> 